everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your BOSU Dumbbell Full Body Workout. So in this workout, we are gonna use a BOSU ball and a set of dumbbells. I'll be going fives because I'm just getting back after having a baby, but whatever size works for you. And if you don't have access to a BOSU ball, then you can do everything that we're doing just on the floor as well. All you need for this workout is a set of dumbbells and a BOSU if you have one. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're just gonna start with just a quick little warm up. We're just gonna march. Make sure that your BOSU and your dumbbells are out of the way. We'll just roll through those shoulders to the back and then to the front. The warm up is just to big deep breath in, get everything moving, get the blood flowing, get your muscles and joints ready to move in all different directions. Certainly, if you need more of a warm up or cool down, please get it on your own. And let's roll through our backs down, round it up. I'm gonna give you lots of different options in this. I had a baby a few months ago, so I might go a little lower impact and sometimes I'll keep the lighter dumbbells with just the fives. Let's hold here, roll through the shoulders, but it's up to you. And also I'm gonna give you some options. The BOSU works a lot with balance. I'll give you some options to put your hand on the wall. Let's round it up and then tap it out right here. Here we go, tap and reach. So you have some ways to get a little more balance and also some ways to keep it on the floor if you need that kind of balance and also to keep it on the floor if you're working without a BOSU. Again, you can do this whole workout without a BOSU. I'll give you options for that as well. Take it over your head and big stretch. Work in the full body, adding some compound movements to really get a lot of muscles working at once. Heart rate's up and knees up and a little bit of balance, a whole lot of core. Bringing those knees towards your chest and then hamstrings to the back. Breathe. And then let's do little kicks to the front, little stretch. Breathe. Four, three, two, one. Okay, so go ahead if you have your BOSU and we're gonna move it right in the center here. And we are here. And we are gonna start with your dumbbells holding on either side. One foot on top, the other foot is parallel right beside it. Dumbbells in the center and just your regular squat. So we're dropping it down and bring it up. Drop it down and bring it up. So from the side, you're dropping those hips back like a regular squat. One foot is elevated. You're having to push through that BOSU a little more. Abs are in tight, weight in the heels, breathe. Even though our chest is dropping, we're not rounding in the back. Keep those eyes up. And if we want, let's add a little curl. Down, curl it up. Still that regular squat, curl at the top, breathe. Let's go four more just like this. Heart should start to be pumping, a little leg burn. Two more. And then let's keep all of this, you can keep it right here. If your foot's on the floor, that's totally fine. Let's add a little step up. So down, tap it up. So all of this with the BOSU, the key is to keep your weight low, keep the knees bent. What we don't wanna do is come all the way up here. That's where we're gonna lose our balance. Down and up. Breathe. Let's go four more. You can keep just the squat if you don't feel comfortable stepping. Three, two, one, and relax, right? Whoo, shake that out, we feel that, right? So abs in tight. Before we get that other side, just kind of march it out, roll those shoulders. My heart is pumping, I hope yours is as well. Again, everything we're doing with our feet on the BOSU, you can keep it right on the floor if you don't have one. Let's take it up on top, stand up on that BOSU, and we're gonna bend those knees, lower the chest, and take it to a row. So you're gonna feel a little shaky, that's okay. Woo, flat back, here we go, squeeze. My ball, my BOSU actually needs a little bit of air. It's been a little while since I filled it up. If you feel too shaky, take it right down to the floor, flat back, squeeze it up and down. Squeeze, core's in tight. Breathe. And let's go eight. 
keep squeezing. Seven, so you can tell legs are working just by standing on the BOSU. Last four, four, three, two, Step off carefully, shake it out. So you still felt those legs burning as we were working the upper body and the back. Let's take all of that to the other side. If you don't have the BOSU, just foot on the floor. If you do, one foot elevated, toes parallel, drop it down, bring it up. So drive those hips to the back. We have a tendency on the BOSU to want to bring those knees forward, still get the hips going back, bringing it up, just like a regular squat, dumbbells in front. How about we, <laughs> that's your balance. How about we add a hammer curl? Down, curl it up. So palms are just facing in this time. Everything's working. Breathe, core's in tight. Four more like this. And three, and two. If you want, step it up right here. So squat, tap it up, Whew. squat. Tap it up. So again, not coming all the way up. That's where we're gonna lose our balance. Keep it low. Both moves, good form. Not too fast. If you need to go slower than me, that's okay. Breathe. And we'll go four, three, two, one more. And relax, shake that out. Woo, how's your heart rate? Mine is up, I hope yours is too. We're gonna step back up onto that BOSU. This time I'll show you from the floor first. Hinge at the hips, let's take the elbows wide. So wide row, just like this. Step on top if you can, here we go. Up and down. Squeeze, back, pull those shoulder blades in. Stay soft in the knees, stay low this from the side. You really need to put some air in mine, right? So you want a little bit of a cushion, but you don't want it to be as low as mine. You want it to be a little more rounded on the top when you step on it. Last two. One more. And relax. Drop those dumbbells off to the side, out of the way. And then we're just gonna do a little over the top. So keeping the legs working, but a little more of a cardio interval. Even though if you're like me, maybe you don't need it. But let's get that heart pumping. So you're staying low. Pop it over. So low impact, just step it. High impact, little jump. If you feel comfortable with that. Everything with the BOSU, safety first. So if you feel too shaky or like you're gonna roll an ankle, please take your time or take it to the floor. If you're on the floor, you're here. You're still getting low in the squat. Take it over. Let's go eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Good, go ahead and grab a sip of water. Tap it out, catch your breath. We are going to turn our BOSU over to where we have the flat side up. And here's what we're gonna do. We are going to start low impact. We'll progress it as we go. So we're here. I want you to drop it down, pick it up, drop it down and up. So less squat, more of that deadlift, hinge at the hips. More just kind of, if you don't have the BOSU, then you're just tapping the floor. So we're strengthening in the back, in the hamstrings, in the glutes. Let's go two more and breathe. Last one right here. Okay, so that's our warm up. So now either walk it back, we'll start with that, or jump it back into a little burpee. Here we go. So down, you can walk it back, walk it in, bring it up. Down, walk it back, walk it in, bring it up. If you want, take it to that jump, jump, and up. Keep it nice and slow. Notice I'm not going fast, that's for a reason. What I don't want you to do is end up here, jump it back, pull from here, pull your back. You go at whatever pace works for you. I'd rather you have really good form, strong plank, strong positioning on that BOSU. Keep it going. Let's go three more. Down, jump. 
and you decide how long you want to stay in that plank. I'm not staying super long. Last one right here. I'm still healing a little bit of diastasis recti and breathe. Ab separation for pregnancy. If you think you might have it, please check out my prenatal videos. I have a video where I show you how to check for it. But it's okay to be there for just a second as long as I'm pulling in with that deep core as we all need to be. All right, catch your breath. One more time, add the push up if you want. So a few options, take it back, walk it back, take it to the knees, bring it up, walk it in. Or walk it back, high push up, walk it in, or jump it with either. You can jump and go to the knees, or you can jump and stay on the toes. Totally up to you. If you're not getting down super far, that's okay, keep it going. That's where I am. I've only been working out a couple months after having my baby. So I'm not super strong in that push-up yet or in my core, so I'm gonna keep it kind of small. That is fine, I'm still working those muscles. I still showed up for a workout today. That is what's important. So let's go two more, wherever you are. Be where you are today. Strong core. Last one right here. And breathe. Go ahead and flip it over somewhere close to your wall. Grab a sip of water. Nice work, team. Those are not easy. Even though we were building as we went, that was a long set building, right? Okay, so now we're gonna go to a lunge or a step up. So set up next to a wall if you have one. Put one foot up on top. If you don't have the BOSU, then you're just gonna be in your regular step back or lunge position. You decide how much of a lunge you wanna make it. You can make it small. If you don't need that balance, then you're here. I feel pretty shaky, so I'm gonna put one hand on the wall. Regular lunge, low or not so low. Here we go, down and up. Core is in tight, no dumbbells just yet. Breathe, if you're feeling good about it, you can try that balance. I like to put hands here or here. Let's go two more. See, I don't even have it, so I'm gonna keep it here. That's totally fine. Let's step it up. Lunge down, tap up, down, tap up. So again, I'm not standing completely up. I'm keeping it low, keeping it forward. I actually think the step up is easier with the balance than the regular lunge. Breathe. If you really want the challenge, bring that knee up. It's harder to go slow, right? Breathe. Four more. Four, three, two, one. And relax. Shake that out. Step over to the other side. Let's go ahead and get the other side before we add those dumbbells in. One foot up on top, core is in tight, hand here, regular lunge. Down and up. And as always, if at any point you need more of a break, just hit pause, take a break, come back to it. Totally fine, we're all at different fitness levels. That's okay. Breathe, let's lunge it down, step it up. Here we go, lunge, tap up. Weight in that front heel, keep everything moving forward. Breathe, let's go four more just like this. Three, two, good. Let's add the knee, here we go. Lunge and knee. Lots of concentration. Going slow for a reason, because I don't want you to be all here. We'll do that later. Four, three, two, one. Shake those legs out. Grab your dumbbells. So I'm gonna give you a couple of options. If you don't have a BOSU and you want to make this still a balance workout, just take one foot up. I'll tell you when to switch. If you have the BOSU, step up on top. Two dumbbells, if they're a little bit lighter, we're just gonna go up to the front. Breathe, so watch me here. My knees are slightly bent, my weight is forward. I'm just coming level with my shoulders. If you have heavier dumbbells, take it here. Just one is fine. Breathe. Let's go four more right here. Four, three, two, 
rest for a second. If you're on the floor with no Bosu, switch your legs. You're gonna stand on the other leg. We're gonna go from the top and down. So here, again, slight bend in the knees. If you have two dumbbells and you can do this, it's gonna throw your balance. So watch that core here to here. And breathe. Last four, right here. Four, oh, that's hard. Three, two, one. <laughs> Drop one of them down. So what's tricky about that, as you can tell, is as the weight goes up or down, it's pulling your balance. So you're having to stabilize in your core and on that BOSU. All right, one dumbbell, one hand, opposite leg on top, by the wall if you need it. I'm gonna need it, so I'm gonna use it. We're gonna step it up. Here we go, tap it up, tap it down. So not as much of a lunge this time. Core's in tight. If you want, one dumbbell can be here. Let's go four more just like this. Three, two, if you want, press it up right here. Tap and down or here with two. If you're on the ground with no BOSU, make it more of a lunge if you want. Four, three, two, and if you want, add that knee up. Up and down, up and down. Breathe. Four more right here. Four, three, two, one. Tap it out. Same thing, other side. Make sure that dumbbell is out of the way. Going other leg. Everything's pulled in tight. Push into that heel, starting with just the step up. Then we add the press, one or both hands. Tap and down. Wall for balance. Concentrate in that top leg. Core's in tight through here, elbow in. If you wanna hear at your chest, that's okay too. Two more. Let's add the press right here. Up and down. You should feel a little shaky you shouldn't feel unsafe. So if you feel unsafe, take it down to the floor. Totally fine to be here. Two more. Let's add the knee coming up, either one or both. Knee and down. Here's where you are on the floor. If you're on the BOSU, up. Here we go. Four, down, three, two, and one. Tap it out, Woo. drop your dumbbell, grab a quick sip of water. We are almost done up top, and then we are taking everything down on the floor onto the mat. Hope you're feeling that <laughs> as much as me. I know I am. Okay, so catch your breath. Once we get done, we'll have some more compound moves, a little more upper body, a lot of core. To finish it out right here, opposite leg that you just did, on top, we're gonna do quick ones, okay? So core is in tight, dig into that heel with or without the wall. We're going as quick as we can. We're going 30 seconds each side. Push into the heel, drive it up. You can add that knee if you want. Starting 30, here we go. So they're little quick ones. So notice your top leg is barely moving. Again, I think the balance on this is a little bit easier. If you need the wall, you've got it. You can pump those arms, weight forward if you want, knee up. That leg should be burning, heart should be pumping. You got 10 seconds, keep breathing. Yeah, burn. Four, three, two, one. Ooh, shake it out. Let's get that other side. So last little leg burn before we take it down to the mat. And a little bit of extra cardio, here we go. Tap it up, tap it up. Weight in that front heel. Breathe. The BOSU is so good for strengthening our ankles and our feet, things that we don't think about as much. Add that knee up if you want. And our knees, our hips. It's used a lot in physical therapy and in rehab. Breathe. Last four, three, two, and one. Quick sip of water, we're taking it down on the floor with our BOSU and our dumbbells. Just tap it out. 
go ahead and bring your BOSU here. Actually, I'm gonna go on this side. And you're coming down on top. So dumbbells close by where you can get them. I'm gonna give you a lot of options with this core stuff because again, I'm still recovering a bit after having my second baby. So starting up top, sit a little bit forward and just start, I want you to inhale, exhale, pull that deep core in. Inhale, exhale, by deep core I mean pull that belly button towards the back of the ball. You may even want to take it forward a little more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. I'm gonna keep it right here where it's just the movement in the core. If you wanna take it a little more, inhale, exhale, have a little more of a crunch. Here's what we're not doing, using our hip flexors. We're using the core muscles. So from here, think towards the ceiling. You should feel it right away. Just keep it here, pull it in. Or all the way reaching over, not all the way to the back like this, just sort of level parallel, pull it in. Again, I'm keeping it pretty small, so I'm just activating that deep core. Not a crunch <clears throat> if you're postpartum like me. Just pulling in. Let's go four, three, two, and one. Good, go ahead and bring it up. <clears throat> Sit on top, stretch it over right here. I do have a full go to core workout. You can check that one out if you want more core. There's so many great things you can do. Go ahead and roll it forward to where you're sitting in front of your BOSU. Here's what we want. We want our shoulders and our head and our neck to be resting. We wanna grab those dumbbells. <clears throat> We're gonna do a chest press and a bridge. Here we go. Up and down. <sighs> and breathe. <clears throat> so if you feel like too much is on the ball, take it forward. We want just head, neck, and shoulders. Lift those hips as high as you can. Press in and out. So we're getting all through the upper body, chest, shoulders, a little bit of tries. Breathe. Chest press and bridge. Here we go. Last eight. Totally fine to be on the floor. You don't have the BOSU. Last four. Four. Three two, hold it at the top, hold it here, take one down and then the other. So I'm keeping my core as tight as I can. I'm lifting in those hips, breathe. Four more, four, abs in tight, three, hips up, two, and one, and slowly down. Roll over on to your side. We are almost done. Elbow on top, cross that top leg over, hand can be here, lift it up into a side plank. If you want, drop that knee. If you're postpartum like me, it's totally fine to stay here. I'm gonna go down and up. If you really want the challenge, grab that dumbbell here or here. Breathe, oh, that's hard. I know it's tough on your shoulder too. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Swing it over to that other side. You guys can just flip around. I'm gonna move my BOSU so I'm facing you. Find your balance, either on the knee or all the way up, elbow right beneath the shoulder, and then take it down and up. Breathe. Excellent. If you want the challenge, take it here. That's hard. Whew. Last two. And one, and relax. Ah, good, stretch that over, side to side. All right, so while we've got it here, let's flip it over. Right here, and dumbbells here, come down on your side, and then feet on top. So you're gonna slide in pretty close, grab those dumbbells, triceps and bridge, so start with your triceps, bend, straight up. It's going to be a little shaky feet right in the center. Let's add the bridge down and lift. It should feel shaky. That's okay. That's really going to engage those glutes, those hamstrings. Watch my arms. I'm bending from the elbows. Dumbbells are coming down by my ears. What I'm not doing is moving my shoulders 
forward and back. I'm keeping it elbow extension to really isolate those tries and I'm lifting my hips as high as I can. Here we go, eight and up, seven. Only one set of these, we can make it long. We're so close to being done. Last four, three, two, one, and relax. Woo! Stretch those up, get a little stretch. Woo! And go ahead, turn it over into a plank position. Again, we are so close, but let's finish out with a little bit of core. So here, take it up if you can. I'm gonna give you some modifications that I'll do with you. We're gonna go side to side. If you are postpartum like me, I want you to come down to the knees or just hold it here and engage. If you can, side to side, breathe, pull it in. And if you have diastasis recti, maybe just take it to a little stretch. Mine is mostly closed, so I'm going further into these exercises. Last one each way. And relax and stretch it back. Woo. Flip it back over. Take yourself this way. This is our last thing. So toes right in the center. We're going on the elbows. Bring it up and hold if you can. And the knees coming in, hips coming up. So it's a little knee in and pike. If you're postpartum like me, you can keep those knees down a little easier. If you can, bring it all the way up. Here. Here we go. Last eight. Don't push it. Seven. If you're coming back after having a baby, I'm just gonna pull them in here. My core is still working. Four, three, two, one. Stretch it back. Whoo! Grab a sip of water. We're gonna bring it for a little bit of a stretch. <clears throat> okay, so turn into your Bosu and we'll put our hands on top. Sit back into that child's pose, and as you do, really push down into the ball. If you don't have a bosu, so just do it on the floor. But if you can, hips back, and then push those hands and shoulders down, you get a nice, deep stretch. And then go ahead and come on top of your bosu. Sit on top if you can. One foot out, pull towards you, fold it over, lean over into that deep breath. Just a few deep breaths as you exhale, sink a little deeper. And then let's take those arms in front, chin to your chest. If you like this workout, don't forget to subscribe. And then please let me know if you'd like to see more those two workouts. Let's drop those knees to the side, little gentle push. I have had a couple on the channel for years, but a lot of you have been writing to me asking for more. So if it's something you have at home, I help to do a Bosu kettlebell, maybe Bosu TRX, Bosu resistance band, Bosu cardio, all of that. Just have lots of options for folks who work out. Reach it over, big stretch. And then other side. And let's go one big deep breath in. And out, hands forward. Woo! Roll it up. You did it. That was your Bosu dumbbell workout. Great job, everybody.